Good Wednesday morning, everyone. I'm Storm Search 7 Chief Meteorologist Steve Kirsch. Well, hold on to your hats. It's going to be one of those windy days today across the High Plains. A high wind warning has been hoisted by the National Weather Service for the entire High Plains. It doesn't matter where you live. Now, what that means for about the mid-morning hours on, we're thinking about 10 o'clock in the morning and then through this afternoon, even through tonight, we'll see winds at least 30 to 40 miles per hour on average. That's an average wind speed gusting as high as 60, maybe 65, even 70 miles per hour in gust across the region. Those kind of winds can cause some damage, and uh, definitely you need to get ready now to prepare for those strong winds coming up later this morning. Here's a look at some of the uh, weather graphics to kind of talk to you about what we're expecting. We'll start off with the GFS. This is a global forecasting system model, and this starts at about... Uh, Oh, 6 o'clock this morning. No, there's just not much going on. The winds are actually pretty calm out of the southwest, <clears throat> excuse me, at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. So this morning, nothing to worry about. If you have to do something outdoors, now be the time to do it because a little bit later on this morning, the winds are going to get out of hand. Let's talk about lunchtime. And you notice that the winds already are starting to pick up. In fact, these little wind barbs right in here indicate a southwest wind uh, at about, uh, let me get that little graphic off the screen here. That indicates winds out of the southwest already at 30 miles per hour, gusting up to around 50. Now that's at lunchtime. And then it gets even stronger in the mid-afternoon hours. The winds, again, ramp up to maybe 60 to 70 mile per hour uh, in gust. Also, at the same time, we've got a cold front coming through. Let me show you the indication of that. About 6 o'clock this evening, the front is making its way through Amarillo and Canyon, diving toward the south and west. And temperature is going to get cold fast. Now, the other part of this storm that a lot of folks are talking about is the snow. Let me switch over and take a look at what the computer model says at lunchtime is going to happen. Frankly, not much. We have the upper level low centered between, oh, let's say, Guymon and Boy City. No snow in the area yet. Now by, well, let's say 6 o'clock this evening, we've got a little bit of snow up across, uh, let's say, Boy City, Guymon, maybe back down to Clayton. Let me say a couple things about this. The, the snow is going to be very light. It's going to be extremely windblown. That may cause some travel problems in a few areas where you get a snow burst and probably not able to see very far at all. Not going to last very long, uh, but the snow could be a problem in those areas only. And then by the time we get to, uh, let's say, uh, midnight tonight, the snow is still falling across Guymon to Boise City, but it's quickly moving away from the region. Maybe the northern Texas Panhandle see something, but chances are you may not. So it's going to be a fast-moving, quick-hitting system, and then it's gone. Do you want to get to something real fast? Because a lot of folks are talking about this. Let's shoot ahead to Christmas Day, and let me show you what the computer model is saying. Now, yesterday, I will tell you this much: this particular model had a big snow for the High Plains, upwards of a foot. Today. Not so much. Now, there wasn't much agreement about, uh, amongst the long-range computer models anyway, and now this particular model is kind of joining the other and saying, eh, I don't think it's going to do much. Now, this is uh, early Christmas morning, no some snow in New Mexico, and then by the time we get to lunchtime, it is snowing a little bit. This is a much, much lighter than what we saw yesterday, and it does have some snow on Christmas Day. But again, the other computer model is dry. So this one trending toward the other computer model, the European model, which is showing a drier atmosphere. Not good chances for snow. We'll keep it cloudy for Christmas Day. It's going to be cold, high temperatures around freezing. But uh, unfortunately, as far as the snowfall goes, it looks like there's not much going to happen. One more thing before I leave you. Don't forget our SchoolNet network. This is uh, connectamarillo.com. Let me take the, uh, the webcam off so you can see it. Uh, down in the bottom corner, if you change one of the parameters to high wind, you can see the highest wind gust across the high plains at any time. Any one of our 162 school net sites throughout the area. So again, change the parameters in the bottom right-hand corner to high wind, and you can see the highest wind gust in that particular locale. Going to be a busy day here at Storm Search 7. Certainly a team of meteorologists will keep you updated throughout the day as this high wind event continues today and tonight before the winds finally start to taper off by early Thursday morning. Hope you have a great day. Join me for daybreak, 5 to 7 a.m. I'll be back for Pro News 7 midday at 11 as well. We'll see you later.